big topic in AI in 2026 is going to be degrees of consciousness. And as someone who spends a lot of time in Silicon Valley, I can also tell you this is what Silicon Valley is talking about. And I want to actually draw a corollary to the conversations around AGI and the conversations around self-driving cars. I remember the early conversations around self-driving cars and people were starting to realize that there's a lot of nuance. What if the car can drive itself, but the human still has to be in the driver's seat? What if the car can park itself, but the human still has to drive? And so a lot of these researchers came out with five levels of self-driving cars, the highest of which being level five. We saw a very similar thing happening with AGI. And there was a rumored five level systems from OpenAI that went from the ability to have conversation to the ability to invent new science. That same nuanced multi-tiered conversation is coming to consciousness. And for the philosophers and psychologists among you, I think this is going to be a really interesting topic. How do we recognize the degree of consciousness of a system? If it tells us that it feels sad, does it actually feel sad? Should we worry about deprecating old models? Like is GPT 3.5 sad that we turned it off? These are the types of questions that top AI labs are thinking through. And if this is a space that you care about, I would suggest reading this paper and maybe even setting an alert for posts about degrees of consciousness plus AI. I feel like I keep saying that the future of AI is only going to get weirder. This is one of those moments. And what it means for businesses is going to be another layer of that. My name is Ali K. Miller. I'm the number one most followed voice in AI business. Follow me for more.